Hey, this is Ryan from the 60 Second Home Guitar Podcast. I'm back at it again with the uh, Squire Mustang Bullet HH body. I spent some time sanding it, getting most of the little burn spots off. There's some problem areas up in here and there, but whatever, who cares, right? Um, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about this guitar, thinking about how I'm gonna paint it, how I'm gonna finish it. I was thinking about doing like a dark walnut stain on it. I was thinking about uh, putting this, experimenting with this uh, heat transfer vinyl glitter on it. And I did a little test on a piece of similarly colored wood. I did a test with different stains and then putting the, uh, the heat transfer vinyl glitter on there. And the glitter was kind of a failure. This is the dry strip right here on both sides. And then I put a clear coat, three layers of it over here to see if I could get kind of a quick and thick buildup of clear coat over this heat transfer vinyl just because it lays really flat compared to other glitter jobs I've done. I was hoping that the clear would build up relatively quick and I would be, have like a sanding coat. And that just wasn't the case. And also the clear coat caused some sort of chemical issue with the glue underneath the HTV. So it is buckling up along the edges there. So that's not great. I can't use this to refinish a guitar. It's just gonna be too much trouble. I might as well use my regular uh, glitter technique that I do. Uh, the stain, as far as that goes, I mean, this isn't a great quality wood. It's, as far as I can tell, four pieces of wood put together. Um, it's not really all that attractive. It's more attractive on the back, honestly, than on the front. So I'm not really thinking about doing that at all. I was also thinking about doing like a, uh, like a, like clear coating a, a piece of fabric onto the top and do like a crazy like paisley thing or some sort of weird, you know, like fabric pattern. I kind of just don't want to mess with it. I, everything I think of, I find a reason to shoot myself down and be like, no, nah, I really don't want to spend the time doing that or I don't think it'll look good or I don't want to you know, do that to this guitar. I don't think it's the right guitar for it. And so uh, I sat and I had some kind of deep thoughts about this guitar and I started asking myself, what does this guitar want to be? Like what are the qualities of this guitar as it is? And it's a lightweight guitar it's like a no frills, like no fuss, like don't think about it too hard guitar. It just plays really, really easily, but it's not like trying to be fancy in any way. And the more I thought about it, just how bare bones this guitar is, and it's a $150 guitar, I kind of just feel like I should put it together as is, just raw wood it. I've got it sanded down pretty soft. I got most of the burnt edges off. I don't hate the look of putting it together just raw wood. And it's still kind of like a unique thing. Like when do you ever see just a raw wood guitar? Like not even a clear coat on it. I'm kind of really loving the thought of this and just the all around concept. And I still would like to put in a kill switch right around here as an extra little thing. But other than that, I kind of, I look at this and I kind of just want to play it as it is. This guitar doesn't want to be fancy. It doesn't want a crazy pattern on it. It doesn't want glitter. It just wants to be a piece of wood with some pickups and hardware in it. So I think I'm gonna put it together right now and just let it be what it is. All right, uh, here we go.
All right, for those curious about how to do a kill switch wiring, uh, the kill switch really just connects the, uh, the positive and the ground, or the lead and the ground, uh, through the switch. There's nothing really fancy about it, just when those two connect, it kills the signal. Super simple mod to do, the hard part was really drilling the hole. Well, there it is. I just got to put strings on it. And as far as I'm aware, this is a fully functional guitar now. Buttoned it all back up. I think it looks pretty cool. I think that's a neat look. I even like the, the offset of a little bit of red there on the kill switch. Maybe I'll put red knobs on this or white knobs. Maybe I'll put a different pick guard on here. I don't know. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty dang happy with how this, how this looks right now. It's got kind of the, uh, the attitude that I think matches the feel and playability of this guitar. Just kind of raw, simple, stripped back, no frills, not trying to be fancy, not trying to be, you know, some, you know, crazy interesting thing. It's just a stick of wood with some strings that makes some rock and roll noise. All right, I'm going to go string this thing up and then I'll do some playing with it in a bit.